This video will walk you through how to complete a New Jersey Family Care eligibility renewal application online. Before you begin, you will need the following documents. To get to the online application for New Jersey Family Care, go to www.njfamilycare.org and click on the Apply Here star-shaped link. To file a renewal, enter the code from the letter you received, then you can click the Next button. If you cannot find your invitation code, call New Jersey Family Care at 1-800-701-0710 to receive one. On this page, you will also be able to translate the application in Spanish if needed. If so, please click Espanol at the top right-hand corner of the page to translate the application to Spanish. Once you hit Next, you will need to confirm a date of birth and social security number if applicable. Filling out the application contact details. The application checks to see that certain fields are entered correctly. For example, it will check that the zip code has five digits, a phone number has 10 digits, and the email address is formatted correctly. Do not use a PO box as a home address. The home address is where you live. The mailing address is where you receive mail. A PO box is where you get mail and will only be accepted as a mailing address if a home address is entered. Links to the left of the page show which section of the application you are currently completing. Sometimes during the address verification process, you will be prompted to choose the correct address. The window shows addresses with various house numbers and zip codes. Scroll down to see more addresses if necessary. If the applicant's address is shown in the list, check the box next to it and click Submit. If your address falls in a range, check the box next to the range, enter the house number or apartment unit in the box on the right, then click Submit. Click Save and Next to continue with the application. Filling out the application, Household. Enter the information for each member of the household, even if they are not applying. To add additional members, click on the plus Add to Household button. If anyone wishes to be evaluated for the Plan First program, click on the checkbox. Plan First is a limited benefit program which provides family planning services only. The program is designed to provide a full range of family planning services to men and women who do not have access to insurance. The Plan First program does not provide minimum and essential health care coverage such as physicals. If you are pregnant, please provide the delivery date. When you are finished, click on the Save and Next button. Filling out the application, Relationships. In the Relationships section, you need to enter how many people in the family are related. When you are done, click on the Save and Next button. Filling out the application, Member Info. Verify the name at the top of the screen before continuing, as this section must be filled out for each member on the application. At least one member has to answer yes to question one, does this person want NJ Family Care? Filling out the application, race and ethnicity. The race and ethnicity questions collect data for health equity initiatives. Select the appropriate option in the left box labeled available and click on the arrow to move the selection to the right box labeled chosen. More than one option can be chosen. If the applicant prefers not to answer, select that option instead. Filling out the application, U.S. Citizen. A U.S. citizen is a person who was born in the United States. A U.S. national is a person who was born in the outlining possessions of the United States. A naturalized citizen is a person who was neither born in the U.S. nor of U.S. origin, but granted U.S. citizenship through the process of naturalization. A derived citizen born outside of the U.S. is granted to foreign-born individuals whose parents are born in the U.S., Derivative citizenship is given to those whose parents themselves were naturalized citizens or those who were adopted by people born in the country. Filling out the application, non-U.S. citizen. If you are not a U.S. citizen, you must answer if you or a family member have an eligible immigration status. Keep in mind that a person who does not have an eligible immigration status may still qualify for coverage. One example is children under the age of 19 who can qualify for healthcare coverage because of the Cover All Kids initiative. 
Use the drop-down selections for immigration document type and status type. On the application, select the document type from the drop-down list that corresponds with the most current documentation and status. Filling out the application income. This section is for income information for each household member. The online application asks for the pay period and the amount for that pay period. Be mindful when completing the income section that you enter the amount for the pay period you selected. Please note gross income, income before taxes must be reported. Income must be reported for every job and each person, including working children aged 16 to 20. If your employment status changed in the last six months, be sure to select a reason from the drop-down box. This is the lower half of the income section. Here you will report if anyone is planning on filing a tax return, if they are doing so jointly with a spouse, and if they are claiming any dependence. If one spouse says yes to filing jointly, the other spouse listed on the application will automatically have the box stating they don't plan to file a federal tax return next year checked off. Dependents being claimed by spouses filing jointly must be claimed by the spouse answering all of the tax questions. When you are done, click on the Save and Next button. Filling out the application health plan. Doctor information is optional and can be left blank. You will want to select the following. Select a health plan. Choose any of the available health plans. Choose the head of household slash point of contact. Choose the language the family speaks at home if applicable. Income slash additional comments is a free form box that allows you to write any clarifying information you may want to add about income, family situation, etc. The box is a required field if the entire family reports no income. This box must be used to explain how the family is surviving with zero income. Verify the information, then click Save and Next. Filling out the application review. On the review page, you can click the plus sign to expand the section to review that information and click the minus sign to close that section. If you need to change any information, you can click edit next to that section heading and the application will take you to that page. Another way to go back to a previous page of the application is to click on that section in the navigation menu on the left side of the page. To review all sections, be sure the information entered is correct. To continue, click on the Save and Next button. Filling out the application Rights and Responsibilities. This is the top of the Rights and Responsibilities page. It indicates where the application will be sent for processing. Applicants should read and review each statement on the page so they know what is being signed electronically. When you get to the applicant signature, Carefully read and review each statement so you know what is being electronically signed. Check the box labeled Step 1 and fill in the box labeled Step 2. To finalize and complete the application, click on the Submit Application button. Filling out the application confirmation. The confirmation page shows the application was submitted successfully to the eligibility determining agency, in this case, the state vendor. This page also contains a phone number for the agency so the applicant can follow up on their application. Print this page and give it to the family. The family should keep this page for their records. They can use the information if they need help or have any questions. After submitting your renewal electronically, submit any supporting documentation for changes in the home. For more information, visit NJ Family Care at www.njfamilycare.org. Assistance completing your application, contact New Jersey Citizen Action by phone at 888-654-3893 or schedule an appointment by emailing getcovered at newjerseycitizenaction.org.